In this video, we're going to talk about the header. Now, each study you create in Timer Pro can have one header associated with it. And using the new template area, we can define the prompts in the header area. So I can come in here, I can say the header, tap the header, and we give you a default of department here. Now, if you want to see what is in that department, you can select the selection button over here, and it will say department or add up to 10. Those are actually just the two that you see here. Add up to 10 is, is like one of the prompts right now. We want to remove that in a few minutes here. But I'm going to go here, I'm just going to do selection, I'm going to say departments, and it will show me the entries I have available under my department. So machine shop, assembly, test, and the add up to 40. These are my options here. I can add up to 40 options underneath this. We can also type directly into the field. We don't have to select from here. So we want to add a new entry here. So I go back and I say I want to go to my headers. I'm going to add one here. Maybe I want to add a plant. So what I'm going to do is add here. I'm in my header and I haven't selected a prompt here. I'm just going to say I want to add and I'm going to say what it's going to be called. It's going to be called a plant. So I enter my text and I say OK. It adds it at the bottom of my list. I might want to put that at the very top. So I can highlight it and say move it up. I tap it twice and it moves to the top. Now I want to enter some entries underneath that plant. If I select the plant option, I want to get two or three options there that I might have available as a plant. So again, I select the selection button at the top right here. And now the plant is available to me. I select the plant and it's going to ask me, do I want to add entries under the plant? And I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to call this one Denver. And it adds Denver for me here. Now I want to add another one. So let's say I do this. I'm going to add Detroit. Okay. And let's do a third one, which is going to be, let's say, New York. Okay, so now we've got three plants in here. Now how they're used... When I say I go back, they're now available to me. If I go to the Do Study here, it brings up the sample study here, and I select my header items down here. I touch the header button, and you can see I've got the plant. The plant is now a prompt. And I can go to my selection button over here, and here I get my selections, Denver, Detroit, or New York. Let's say it's Denver, and it pops it right in there. Now, it doesn't mean you can't type anything you want here, so you could come back in here, and say, let's say, um, Boston. But it does make it easier for the end user just to make a selection from the available choices and have it pop right in here. So what we've done here is show you how to use the header option. So now we're going to show you some header entries that come with one of the samples we provide with the package. We go to the select template, and I'm going to select the pick pack here, so just tap on it. And I say I want to edit this, edit down at the bottom here. And then from here, I can go to my header entries. And you can see here, I'm in the header. These are the prompts I have. So I've got a whole series of prompts. And each prompt can have options available to, under it. So for instance, if I want to select the department here, I hit the select button up here. I select the prompt I want to review, department. And here are all department numbers I have available. I can add and edit these. If I make another selection, perhaps for this case, the shift, you can see I've got three shifts, the morning, afternoon, and night. Selection again, and maybe I want to go to the machine. And here I can have perhaps a shear number one, shear two, shear three, and a press one, press two, and a lathe. And again, for let's say the engineer, I can see it's Keith or it's Williams. So you can see here, each of my available prompts are available for me to add and edit as I wish. When I finish, I just go hit the back button. It takes me right back to the area where I can make other edits to the different areas of my template. 